Hi, I'm Walt. Welcome to my shop. Let's talk a minute about why we're here and why I ended up thinking I had to make this YouTube video and maybe you'll find it helpful. I was working on an Indiana Jones pinball machine for a friend of mine and I was expecting it to be a simple repair and it turned out not to be. The batteries had corroded, the board was rotten, the board had been repaired before. It was just no good and that board was never going to work right again. So I started looking on the internet for a new board and there was a guy making some and I'd heard good things about him but I also heard he was retiring and was going to quit making them and his site was out of stock. So I started looking around on Marco Specialty's website for that A12742 board and they had one and it said Pintech on it and I'd never heard of them. And I started Googling around and I wasn't finding much. I found this K's Arcade. But, you know, and they had it and they, they had the board and they had a couple versions of it. And I didn't really understand their ordering process at all. So I called them up and it turns out K's Arcade is making this board. And they make... A couple different versions of it. They said the base version is supposed to not have any of the plug-in chips but other than that it's complete. And then they have a plug-and-play version and there may be a version where you can get it with the CPU but not with the without the ROM but I couldn't find that. But it looked like it would, should be able to pick it, but I couldn't figure out how to pick it if I wanted to. So that's where we're at is they have their base unit and I ordered it up and you're going to ride along with me while I put it in and we see how it works. Let's have a look at the original board. You can see all the corrosion up in here. This is an NTE part, so it's a replacement. This one has a crack and a burn. If we look over here, we can see where somebody has replaced this chip and the traces were all corroded underneath there. I got no confidence that I could make this board work reliably for very long the way it is so that's why I'm shopping for a new board the processor here I tried to get that out of the socket and I hooked my clips underneath there and I went to tug on it and I broke the leg off on my puller and I had another puller coming but I understand those chips are getting hard to come by and I didn't want to fight it and this board's trash anyway so I might as well destroy the socket so I took a soldering iron and I melted this corner out and this corner out and this corner out and then I just folded the, the socket back and got the chip out without any damage so that's where we're at with the board and why we're making this upgrade okay let's do a little unboxing I cheated and opened this up already but uh, before I decided I was gonna make this video so I've cut the tape already it uh, did come with packing peanuts. I hate packing peanuts. Then it came with uh, this scary note, which, you know, it's scary to read it, but 
If I was selling that board, I'd put the exact same note on there because I can't tell you how many times I turned on a pinball machine and there was a shorted coil or a diode or something and the board in there started smoking. So, and it's certainly not the guy who provided the board's fault that there's a shorted diode somewhere else in the machine. So that's why we have the uh, scary note. Let's cut this open and see what we get. And it looks like it's exactly as advertised. The bare chip, bare board, no chips. Okay, well. And we get on this chip, you'll notice that you got a 90 degree corner, a 90 degree corner, a 90 degree corner, and this corner here has a little tiny 45 on it. And that's the one we want to uh, make sure goes over there. And then we just press it right on in. And we're in. Off the old board we rom, which is here, and you'll notice that there is a little notch. And if you put that in backward, if you put the notch over here, you're gonna burn it up and the board and you probably be no good. Same with the notch on this IO chip, we're gonna have to move it over. So we just pry them up gently. You don't want to go all from one end or you'll bend the legs. Let's zoom in a little bit here. Those legs don't look bent. That one maybe just a little. And I get the one side in. Then get a little pressure and get the other side in and then you can go down. Then you want to look and make sure that you didn't fold over any pins. Then we're going to do the same thing with the I.O. chip. And then we get to one side in. And then we get a little pressure back to get this side in. And then we double check that we got our notch and our notch. I want to check those legs to make sure that you didn't fold over any pins. And uh, then we're ready to go to the game and power this thing up and see what happens. Be sure to see part two and see how the story ends.